So let's talk about the night of that Troubadour show. All five of them held their own as far as stage presence. Whatever I looked at with the camera, I pulled the trigger. <laughs> so let's talk about the night of that Troubadour show. What sticks out for you arriving there? You've got your camera, your gear. Had you recorded shows before you, you came prepared with a, with a cassette tape recorder? And the night kicks off. Why don't you tell us just about the beginning of that? Well, I used to put my recorder in my in my, in my jacket side pocket, and I had a little microphone. I bring it through the arm and stick it on my watch, uh, so I can catch you know, so it's a better recording. But was that to hide it from the from the bouncers? Did you have to hide the fact that you were recording it? No, I mean I don't know if they let you record it or not, but. Um, Probably they don't, but it was not a matter to hide it. It was a matter of, I don't, where am I going to, I'm shooting the show. I can't hold it. I got to put it somewhere. If I stick it in my pocket without a little microphone in it, it's going to get muffled. You know, you're going to hear the pocket muffle or whatever. So the microphone gives you audience sound. Uh, just so happens that night, uh, there was a problem with the mic. And I think it came out a little bit. It didn't go in all the way in the recorder. And so most of it was muffled until I figured it out. And maybe at some point I went to see if I needed to turn the tape over, you know, because and that's probably when I saw that it, the microphone wasn't in properly. Forget about what the tape recorder heard. I know what I heard. And what I heard was hitting the hammer right on the nail. Axel was clean and, and perfect. And you could hear the band members, the mix, the sound man, everybody did, everybody did their job. The guitar solos were, you know, just insane like i said i'm all of a sudden they're, they're playing don't cry a song i never heard and then slash just rips into this guitar solo it's the same one we all know now and so it's clean you know it's it was just you know perfect perfect so you you had a lightning kind of strike moment yourself yeah. when watching these five guys yeah and not only that but all five of them held their own as far as stage presence whatever i looked at with the camera I pulled the trigger. The thing with when you're shooting a show, you'll look sometimes and you don't pull the trigger because it's not something that, it just doesn't grab you. So you look for something else to do. Then you try to frame two people in one photo. Maybe that will do it because it's not working any other way. Well, that night I, I went back and I shot individual photos of everybody. So I got just Izzy, just Duff, just Axel, just, Sl of course I'm always gonna get Slash because I've always, you know, I grew up with Slash. So I'm gonna I'm I'm more par partial to getting more slash than anyone else just because that's that's just my nature. But you know it was just it was good energy was coming off of all of them from all angles. So whatever whatever you did wherever you looked you were getting something good. Yeah, it's great. You know if I, if I look through these, so we have 42. You said you shot four rolls of film. I don't know how many pictures were on each roll, but we've scanned a total of 42 of them. And the majority of them are individual shots. You went around and you profiled each of these guys. And then there's a couple great ones with um, Slash, Izzy, and Axel together. Um, so Axel and Izzy are, are singing and, and Slash has you know his solo. There's a couple great group shots, but the majority of your shots are these incredible kind of solo hero shots, which I think is pretty interesting given that it was the first time they played together and, and you decided to kind of do a hero shot for each one of these guys. That's because they, they earned it. They, they were, that's what was, that was the energy coming off of them. You're producing energy. I'm going to, and I'm shooting the show. I'm going to capture it. I'm like, uh, like a news reporter, wherever the, I'm reporting the news and the news is there was, there was news to report on everyone. You know, looking through some of your shots here, you know, the first thing I noticed is that Slash is playing I think it's a BC Rich. It's it's his red guitar. It's a BC Rich Warlock. It was actually kind of an expensive guitar he saved up to get. It doesn't really fit who we know Slash is now, but it it, it worked. It's more of a, it looks more like it fit him in Black Sheep better than it did in Guns N' Roses. But with Slash, you know, Slash holding any guitar, he's going to make it look good. What I also noticed in some of these shots is that he's wearing a hat. Now it's not the top hat, but it does have the medallions around it. And it sort of looks like what would evolve into a top hat. I hadn't seen him wear anything like this before. Uh, where did this come from? 
probably his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's interesting. The first time they played together, he's got a hat on. Uh, that's not necessarily the case, as we will see in the rest of these shows leading up until he actually gets a top true. hat. True. The first Guns N' Roses show, Slash had a hat on. I don't think he had it for the whole show, though. I kind of remember a couple things without that hat. And then the only other thing I can see is, you know, Axel's got his chaps. Uh, maybe he starts the show in a kilt. I don't know if this was the first time he used a kilt, uh, but eventually the kilt comes off, uh, as do t-shirts and other things as they go on. Was Is there anything there to talk about? No, it was just different. I mean, he might have used a kilt before that. Uh, there was a handful of the shows that they did with Tracy that I didn't attend, so I don't really know what he looked like. Uh, although, come to think of it, I think there was a girl that shot some photos and I might have seen that kilt uh, before that. But it, it was interesting. I had never seen the kilt before and I thought it was interesting that, you know, that's just doing something different. <laughs> to watch the entire episode and access the full series, bonus episodes, and image galleries from Mark's extensive archive, join our growing community on Patreon and subscribe. If you've enjoyed this preview, then like our video, comment below, and subscribe for more.